Hi everyone, this is Kansi from Atop Serenity Hill and today I just wanted to show you uh, how to apply face paint using a sponge. Just a few tricks that I've learned from the years that I've been doing it. Um, I'm using a hydro sponge which comes um, round like this and then we just cut them in half so that we have two to work with. I usually use one for each color, one for blue, one for the white, but because, uh, you know, if you just want to save some money, you can always use one end for each color. So the other thing we have here is I have some white and some blue face paint. I use the Wolf brand of paint. Um, that's one of my favorites, and the links will be below uh, the video to, to give you all the information. And so I have my sponge, two colors of face paint, and a spray bottle of water, which is how I activate the paint. The paint, we call them cakes, and the paint is dry. Uh, you can see it's kind of like a chalky consistency. So in order to get it wet, you have to use water. Um, there are all different ways to do it. Some artists like to dip their sponges in water and then go at the cakes. Uh, but over the years, I found that the fastest way for me to do it and the easiest um, is to just use a spray bottle. All the different brands of paint use different amounts of water so this way I can control how it's how it's doing the best. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the blue cake and I'm going to go across the surface and you can see it's picking up some of the blue paint. If it feels a little chalky it's not going to hurt to just do it one more time but always best to try it first and see if you have enough water. Better to be a little chalky and go over it than runny and have it run down your your uh, surface, your face, arms, legs, whatever you're painting. Today I'm just going to demonstrate on my arm. And so I have my sponge. I do do put the paint on the flat side and you're just going to pat it on. You can rub it on but you can see that it tends to leave lines so sometimes in quickness, I, for a quick design, I'll do rub it on and then pat it so that it does more of a smooth surface. Okay, and then I'm going to add some white. Again, picking up the white, running the sponge across the surface. You can see there it is. Okay, and then I'm going to add it right next to my blue. And if I want to blend the two colors together, I'm going to go over the blue slightly and then use the back of my sponge to blend the two together. The water on the white paint will reactivate slightly the blue paint, so it's a lot easier to blend them together. If it doesn't have a nice smooth surface where it's blending, you can always come back with your blue and add a little more blue. And there you have a great surface for you to start your base coat. This is your base coat and then now you can start adding all your details on top. And I'll bring another video for you at another time. Thanks so much. Until next time.